Father, I thank you so much uh, for this ceremony where two people become one and glorify you with their lives and with their marriage. God, we're praying that you allow this marriage to be one that imitates you in every aspect of their lives. Every word I say could make you laugh, I talk forever. I'd ask the sky just what it said mm, forever. If the song I sing to you could fill your heart with joy, I'd sing forever. Grace and I moved to DBU at the same time and were roommates through all of our freshman year. When she first met Cooper, I was the one that she came home to tell. I remember hearing about the early stages of their relationship and ultimately when they decided to be an item, if you will. I told Grace at the very beginning that it would take me a long time to come around to anyone she was with. I loved this girl so much and I wasn't going to watch her give her life to someone who loved her any less than me at least. I met Cooper at DBU during the initial tour of our campus, and I thought to myself, I hope Gracie meets a guy like that. Not only was he a guy like that, he was the guy. I prayed for Gracie to have a godly husband her whole life, and Cooper checks every box. God is so amazingly good. If you know Cooper, you love him. He's goofy, he's kind, he's a man of his word, and a faithful friend and brother. In all honesty, Cooper represents Jesus in all that he does. I've watched him love Grace for a while now, and it's a perfect picture of how Christ loves the church. And I have lived in the goodness of God. Gracie is our miracle baby. The day she was born was one of the happiest days of my life. What a precious gift from God. I look at you tonight and see a stunning bride, but I also see a little girl playing the dress up in her baby clothes. Oh, baby. I'm so happy. want marriage to be holy, it's not about working on both of you. It's actually working to look more like Jesus each and every day. The more you fix your eyes on Jesus, you draw closer to Him, naturally, the byproduct of that will be happiness, be joy, and so many other things, but it will also draw the two of you together. In the name of 
name of Jesus, I grace that you, Cooper, to be my husband. In the name of Jesus, I, Cooper, take you, Grace, to be my wife. The Lord has been doing good, good works in Grace and Cooper for a long time. What baffles me is that these works are not even close to completion. In all of the compassion and tenderness and zeal and stillness that is seen in their relationship now is nothing compared to the restoration to come. If this couple can so beautifully reflect the character of the Lord right now, then I will wait with bated breath the day that I get to see this orchestration in full completion. Oh, I'm gonna sing of the goodness of God. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say. Now are you guys ready to be husband and wife? Yeah, all right. Well, by the wonderful state of Texas, but more importantly, Jesus Christ, our Savior, I can pronounce you husband and wife. Coop, you can kiss your bride. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Richardson. First off, can we get a big old whoop for Grayson Cooper? One of my favorite things is that we say is that if we were to have adopted a kid when we first met and first started being friends, we'd have a nine-year-old kid. Um, nine years old, guys. That's crazy. Grace, you have been the most wonderful mother to our hypothetical nine-year-old. It's, it's truly to do this with you, it's an honor. When Gracie was a little girl, we did a little dance routine. We called it our poutine. And tonight, I will dance with, once more with my girl, the new Mrs. Richardson. So raise a glass to the Richardsons. Cheers for one of the first times to Mr. and Mr. Richardson. I hope you both feel the love we all have for you. Cheers to a perfect couple on a perfect night. I love you both. Yeah.